Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you more devices and exercises to help you master a set of chord changes. To get the full benefit of this video, please watch the previous three in the series, where I explain the basics of how to play over chord changes and gradually lead you to the material in this video. Assuming you are familiar with the previous videos in the series, let us begin. Before improvising on a set of chord changes, it's important to get as familiar as possible with that set of chord changes and feel as comfortable with it as you possibly can. To get to that place with a set of chords, there are many exercises and devices we can use and practice. These devices and exercises will get us deeper and deeper into the chord changes, making us more and more familiar with them, so that when it's time to improvise over them, we will feel free and unbound. In this video, I'm going to give you plenty of such devices and exercises. So I'm going to show all of this to you over a set of chord changes. And whatever you see me do here on my chord changes, you can do the same thing over your sets of chord changes and the tunes that you are trying to master improvising over. So here are the chord changes. going to explore intervallic patterns within these chords. Exploring intervallic patterns in depth, like we are about to do, will unlock many things in your brain for improvising, as well as in your fingers. As always, you have to know what the chord scales for these chords are. So very quickly, here are the chord scales for these chords. Now that we know what the chord scales are, we can begin exploring intervallic patterns within them. Let's start with thirds. We are going to play a scale of thirds upwards each chord scale of each of the chords and it's going to sound like this. Now we are going to take those thirds and reverse them and practice that over the chord changes. Remember, always confined to the chord scale, always bound to the notes of the chord scale. And the reverse thirds will sound like this. Now, let's alternate the thirds. One pair in the regular direction, the other pair reversed, and so on and so forth, like this. Let us now do the same thing with fourths, diatonic fourths. Diatonic meaning confined to the notes of the chord scale. So here we go, fourths up the chord scales of each chord, something like this. Now, let us reverse the fourths, like this. Now, 
And again, now we're going to alternate like this. And now, fifths, up the chord scales we go. reversed fifths. And now we alternate the directions, just like in the previous intervals, like this. Now, sixth. And reverse sixth. And again, let's alternate directions. Same thing with sevenths. Diatonic sevenths up the chord scales. Here we go. Now reverse sevenths. And now alternate directions of the sevenths.
I hope you can see how this is going to be helpful to you to get mastery and control over a set of chord changes you're trying to learn to improvise over. There are many more tools to use and I show you many of them in the previous three videos. The links to which will be down in the description below. But these intervallic devices will really get your hands dirty deep in those chord changes and their respective chord scales. All you're doing is you're simply playing the right chord scales over the chords, but you're doing it in ways far more sophisticated than simply playing the chord scale up and down. In doing these exercises, you are still describing the correct chord scales to the listener's ear, but you are doing it in creative ways and exploring many of the possible relationships of notes within the chord scales. All of this will come extremely handy to you when it's time to freely improvise, provided you put the work in, of course. So that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. I make a lot of these kinds of videos and teach you guys meat and potatoes stuff on how to get really better right here and right now. I respond to all the comments down below and answer all questions one-on-one -on -one and coach you guys on how to make the most of these videos to improve. So leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.